my brothers and sisters, good evening. This is the evening prayer for Friday, February 11, 2022, Friday of the fifth week in Ordinary Time. Let us begin our evening prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let us praise the Lord, whose compassion is our comfort. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Brothers and sisters, the Lord Jesus Christ, by the mystery of his cross, heals us of sickness and sorrow, if not in this world, then in the world to come. His mother, her compassion made perfect by that same cross, intercedes for all who are joined to him by their suffering. And let us pray. I will praise you, Lord. You have rescued me, and have not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, I cried for your help and you, my God, have healed me. O Lord, you have raised my soul from the dead, restored me to life from those who sink into the grave. Sing psalms to the Lord, you who love him. Give thanks to his holy name. His anger lasts a moment, his favor through life. At night there are tears, but joy comes with dawn. I said to myself in my good fortune, nothing will ever disturb me. Your favor has set me on a mountain fastness, then you hid your face, and I was put to confusion. To you, Lord, I cried. To my guide, I made appeal. What profit would my death be by going to the grave? Can dust give you praise or proclaim your truth? The Lord listened and had pity. The Lord came to my help. For me, you have changed my mourning into dancing. You removed my sackcloth and clothed me with joy. So my soul sings psalms to you unceasingly. O Lord my God, I will thank you forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On high I dwell, and in holiness, and with the crushed and dejected in spirit, to revive the spirits of the dejected, to revive the heart of the crushed. I saw their ways, but I will heal them and lead them. I will give them full comfort, to them and to those who mourn for them word of the Lord. My brothers and sisters, on this Friday evening, let us pray the Canticle of Mary. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered the promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. To the God of all consolation, we pray for our intercessions. The response is, we give you thanks, O Lord. We give you thanks, O Lord, for your kindness of the suffering, especially those known to us. We give you thanks, O Lord, for your healing of the sick, especially those known to us. We give you thanks, O Lord, for your care for every creature, especially those we value most. We give you thanks, O Lord, and let us offer to God our own personal intentions, culled from the silence of our hearts. We give you thanks, O Lord, and let us recite the Our Father, the Lord's Prayer, as Jesus himself has taught us, and we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And let us read the Salve Regina. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in the valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy toward us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, 
O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. May the God of peace himself make us perfectly holy, and may we entirely, spirit and soul and body, be preserved blameless for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. From the first book of Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 23. My brothers and sisters, let us end our evening prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever, a world without end. Amen. My brothers and sisters, have a good night.